Despite popular belief, The Little Mermaid will be a success, and here's why. Welcome back to my Taylor Talks channel. If you guys are new here, make sure to click that like and subscribe button. So in today's video, I want to talk about why The Little Mermaid will be a successful movie. I've got three reasons why, but first I want to give a brief history of The Little Mermaid and why it is so important to Disney. Now the Disney animated Little Mermaid film was released in 1989 and this film was the start of the Disney Renaissance. Before The Little Mermaid came out in 1989, Disney was producing live action films and TV shows as well as animated films and shows but none of them were truly successful when it came to money. Nothing that Disney was producing went to critical acclaim. It was like Disney was in a dry spell. Their last major box office and critical acclaim film was The Rescuers that came out in 1977 which I love that movie to death. Make sure that you guys check it out and the second movie. And the last Disney animated fairy tale movie came out in 1959 and that was Sleepy beauty so not only did disney not have a box office hit in almost 10 years they also hadn't released a disney princess film in more than 20 years and this was a problem for their animated space so disney decided to fix the problem and pour tons of money and resources to make sure that the little mermaid was a success Disney looked for and hired Alan Menken and Howard Ashman to not only compose the movie but also write all of the songs. They even opened up a new studio in Orlando, Florida to make sure that there were resources dedicated to write and produce and draw The Little Mermaid. Needless to say, Disney was pulling out all the stops to make sure that this film, again, was a success. And a lot of eyes were on this film. In fact, one of the Disney executives did not like Part of Your World at all, and he told the team to take the song out of the movie completely. Now, the reason why he said this was because he was actually at a screen test where a bunch of kids were, of course, watching the movie. And when the song Part of Your World came on, the kids were not paying attention at now, in response to this, the movie's director, producers, even some of the cast and crew that put together the animation said that they would quit if part of your world was removed from the movie. Now, in response, the Disney executive, Jeffrey Katzenberg, said, okay, fine, let's just wait until part of your world is completely finished, and then we'll show another screening in front of the kids to see if they loved it. And of course, the second screening came around and the kids loved it. Now, a similar situation to this happened for The Wizard of Oz. An executive did not like the song Over the Rainbow and wanted to pull the song from the movie. However, the director and cast and crew fought for the song to stay in the movie and we all know the song to this day. Now fasting forward to when the movie came out in 1989, again, it was a box office hit. It made $84 million domestically and over $235 million over its lifetime. But that is not all. Little Mermaid was nominated for Best Original Score and Best Song for Under the Sea. Both Alan Menken and Howard Ashman composed and wrote the song and they actually won. This was the first time in almost 23 years that Disney won an Oscar for one of their songs. The last time that they won was in 1964 for their movie Mary Poppins and the song that won was Chim Chimari. Now that is a good movie to you guys. Make sure that you guys check it out. And this was the start of the Disney Renaissance. So before The Little Mermaid came out, there was only three Disney princesses, Snow White, Cinderella, and Sleeping Beauty. And Sleeping Beauty came out in 1959. So it had been over 30 years since Disney has put out a princess movie. And on top of this, it took Disney about 50 years to produce and put out three Disney princess movies, but it only took Disney less than 10 years to put out four Disney princess movies after they released The Little Mermaid. Mulan, Beauty and the Beast, Aladdin with Jasmine, and Pocahontas. And I do want to give The Lion King an honorable mention. So The Little Mermaid acted like a catalyst for all of the Disney films that we know and love today. In fact, Disney had back-to-back -back Oscar wins after The Little Mermaid came out. They won Best Original Song for Beauty and the Beast, Best Original Song for A Whole New World, Can You Feel the Love Tonight, Colors of the Wind, You'll Be in My Heart, and this is all just in the 90s. Disney was back on top of their game all because of The Little Mermaid. Fast forward almost 24 years later, the live action Little Mermaid is going to be released May 26th. 
Now that we know the history of The Little Mermaid, these are the three reasons why I believe that this film will be a huge success. Number one, Halle Bailey, Halle Bailey, Halle Bailey. I hope I pronounced her name right. I am a huge fan of her. I've followed her since her Chloe and Halle days and she is just phenomenal. I love her voice. The director of this film, Rob Marshall, said that she was the first one to audition for this role and they had tons of other auditions that came in live over Zoom, all of that. And he said that Holly set the bar and nobody could top it. And I believe it. Also, I'm just super proud and happy for her because over the past couple of months, she has had to have thick skin and she's had to have resiliency throughout her time in this world because she got a lot of backlash when it was announced that she was going to be the little mermaid but it seems like she's always upbeat and positive about the future so i'm glad that she's like that and i'm glad that disney is backing her and supporting her sometimes when people face backlash especially when it comes to their race or their skin tone the studios the producers don't really back them or support them but Disney supports Halle Bailey all the way. They even released a statement when it was first announced that she was going to be Ariel saying basically we support her. All this backlash is coming out of nowhere and she is our Little Mermaid, which I love that. The second reason why this movie is going to be a hit is because this is an all-star cast. Of course, we have Halle Bailey as Ariel, but we also have the one and the only Melissa McCarthy as Ursula. Now, she recently said in a People Magazine interview that as soon as she found out about the live action Little Mermaid, she reached out to Disney and practically begged to become Ursula and she won the role. You know how it goes. You have not because you ask not. James chapter 4 verse 2. We have Miss Aquafina as Scuttle. Now, I think Aquafina is hilarious and she has has been on a really big rise to fame over the past couple years in Hollywood and I'm here for it. We have Javier Bardem as King Triton. Now any film that he's in it's always a good time and he is a really really good actor. I need to watch him in the Lucy movie because I have not seen it yet but I've heard nothing but great things. We have David Diggs as Sebastian. I mean bringing this iconic character to life is a really big deal even as a cartoon crab. Um, also because in the movie he sings of course Under the Sea and that was the Oscar winning song for Disney that kind of created the great renaissance. So I wonder if this song is going to win an Oscar again. What do you guys think? And we also have Jonah King as Prince Eric. Now fun fact about this one, Disney actually reached out to Harry Styles first to see if he wanted to play Prince Eric. And Harry Styles turned it down saying that he had other projects to work on and in the past few years he has released his album and his two movies so he has been pretty busy. Jacob Twinway is gonna play Flounder and we also have Noma Dunzlini as Queen Selena. Now I would love to see how they add her character into the movie so I just can't wait. And there is so much more that could be talked about in this all-star cast but it's super exciting and this movie is filled with talent. And the last but not least reason, which is sort of a two-parter, is that it's The Little Mermaid. It's a Disney movie. It's a live action Disney remake. So of course it's going to make millions of dollars in a box office. The past Disney princess live action movies made millions and some billions of dollars in the box office and most had great reviews. So based off of the past, the future looks bright for The Little Mermaid. So Cinderella raked in $524 million, the live action. Aladdin raked in over a billion dollars. Maleficent, I do want to include that movie as well. It raked in $758 million. Beauty and the Beast, the live action, $440 million. And just for kicks, the next Disney live action movie for Disney Princess is gonna be Snow White and the Seven Dwarves, and that's gonna come out next year. So Disney is seeing success in these movies, and that's why they're cranking out more and more. And we're also having a Moana live action movie. So they see some sort of success and some sort of benefit to producing these movies and they're going to keep going and the second part to this is it's the little mermaid 
people are gonna take their children to see this movie because The Little Mermaid is just close to everyone's hearts. It's considered one of the best Disney films that was ever made and it has a huge fan base. So again, I'm calling it this movie is going to be a hit, but I want to know what you guys think. Comment below your thoughts. How much money do you guys think this movie is going to make in the box office? Do you think Holly is going to do well? I think so. Do you guys like how Disney is putting out live action princess movies? Rumor has it Disney is actually in the works for making a live action princess and the frog. They're getting some directors and writers together right now and they're even scouting for the next Tiana. So I really do hope that that rumor is true. Disney hasn't officially announced anything, but I've been seeing a lot of articles about that. Make sure that you guys comment below your thoughts. I'm excited to read everything. Also, make sure to like and subscribe. And as I always say, guys, stay safe. See ya.